Shot my window out, shot, tried to kill us in Cali. You some bitches. <laughs> in San Bernardino. Look, them shot at me and my kids. Y'all hoes. Shooting at kids and shit. You bitches. This is weird as Stupid ass. Hey, I'm glad the Mexican community stick together because blacks definitely don't stick together. But check this out. I just said Mexicans. That don't mean I'm talking about every Mexican. If y'all take it like that, that's on y'all, man. I love y'all, man. Don't act like that, man. I right. bought a lot of Mexican bitches, man. Got Mexican homies. Did all my tattoos Mexican. But guess what? I said what I said. Ain't nobody scared of y'all. If y'all ain't do it, I ain't talking about y'all. But I like how y'all stand and stick together. But one thing for sure is, hold on, y'all. Y'all know y'all don't like Not What's good with it in the hood with it? Back at you with Gunners Collective. You already know what it is, man. I'm back at it like a torta with the snack habit. Now, King Yella, King Yella, Yella King, right? King Yella out of Chicago has decided that if for no other reason, he's going to make his presence felt in California. California, no doubt about it, right? No doubt about it, man. People that are from out of state, they don't understand. You know, they better, hey, fuck the police coming straight from the underground. They better recognize and watch some old school NWA videos and really feel how the wiggle in California is, man. And it only grows nastier and nastier every year. Now, every other state does wiggle, man. They got shooters and hitters from everywhere. But at the same time, in the meantime, in between time, California is not something to play with, especially Southern California. When you're down there and you're not from there, man, they're going to test your agenda, test your abilities, test your power, your proudness and your manhood. They're going to let it be known, man, on them Southern California streets, the way it's been rocking and the way it will always continue to rock. Now, the Mexicano community, the Southern community is, is, man, it's the most massive community in Southern California. There's a lot. Now, there is a big black community, man, and they work hand in hand, you know, to deliver from evil, right? And at the same time, man, evil will overcome, you know, but you got to understand if you're not from California and you don't know the politics, man, you know, they could get evil, real medieval on your ass. Now, King Yella, you know, he got shot at allegedly in San Bernardino or the San Bernardino area. He decided to pull up to California, move there and set up shop. Now we all know King Yella, man, in the Chicago area and Chicago music is very well known and comes from a very well known area and a very well known gang out there allegedly. Now at the same time, that doesn't mean nothing to California. See, California politics and Chicago politics are much different. Albeit, man, there's a lot of hitters from both sides and a lot of people are really drilling you got to understand that when you're in someone else's area, the check-in has to be real. Now, I've been adamant against the check-in saying that no man should have to check in with another man, especially Swifty Blue, right? You, you might have to check in with his chichis, but that's about it. But when it comes to checking in with people, I've been adamant against it. But at the same time, I do understand that when you're living that life and you're really out there in the streets gangbanging, you know, you might have to check in. You might have to just go pull up on a big homie, pull up on someone who's really doing it and let it be known that your presence is felt and that you're established there, you know, just so just for the safety and security of everybody. Anyways, King Yella decided to pull up, man. And I don't know if he had words with someone or they felt that he was posing a threat, but allegedly he got shot at with his family in tow. Now, I don't condone that. I myself have had guns pulled out on myself and my family before, and I've done stories on that, man, and that's never a good look. Anyone that would shoot into an occupied vehicle with children, you know, will get handled when they get incarcerated if that's on their, uh, on their paperwork. Now, at the same time, you got to understand at the end of the day, man, there are some villains out there. There are some people that don't care, man. They're going to hit you where you're at. They're going to leave you where you're left at, you know, on site, mandatory makeup. They're going to get up on you and pull up. Now, some people, if you have tinted windows, they don't know you have children and women in that car and they're going to let loose. And some people don't even care if you do have women and children in the car. Now, is, a, is it a bad look? Yes, it's a bad look. Is it a California look? It's an everywhere look. There's people that don't care about what you're going through and they will make it happen. Now, what really disgruntles me about the situation here is that King Yella decided that if for no other reason he was going to go on YouTube or Instagram and do a rant, right? And the rant was going to basically be 
against Mexicans, for Mexicans, for Mexicans, against Mexicans. You know, when you say anybody or give an identity or, you know, even, you know, hey, the water looked like this or he looked like that, you know, that could be misconstrued as telling, ratting or whatever you want to put on it. You know, but if you're saying the Mexicans did it now, you done already said that the blacks didn't do it. The woods didn't do it, brother. Right. And the Asians definitely were nowhere in the area. You're basically saying the Mexicans are the ones that were the culprits. They are the ones identified by yourself as the ones that, you know, allegedly did this. Now, that definitely is not a good look. And it got me shook. Right. When you say the Mexicans did it, you're basically saying all Mexicans. You're not pinpointing fingers at a certain group or a certain area. You're just saying Mexicans. Now, I understand King Yellow did this rant and he explained to everybody that he has no problems with Mexicans and that if you didn't do this, it wasn't you he was talking about. But why is he talking in the first place? He should have never pointed fingers in the direction of any ethnicity, especially one of the opposition, because whenever and I do say opposition in a way that blacks and Mexicans, although I do push black and brown men in Southern California, they have been oppositions for a lot of years. Now, there is some mingling, some wiggleization, and it does get real. But at the same time, everybody knows who's been through Southern California, man, that blacks and browns don't mix on all levels, man. There's always been an underlying truth to the hatred between the two groups. So when this guy moves in from a different area and where he's coming from, they might kick it with Mexicans. It might be all love. You might get tatted down. In the words of King Yella, he might have bawled a few. But at the same time, down here, ain't no one balling nobody, right? Over here, motherfuckers will ball up on your ass and let you have it, right? I mean, that's what it looks like what happened. Like, I don't know if he was getting into it with people, you know, from California, if he was disrespecting on the internet. You know, this guy does have a big mouth and tends to let his feelings be felt. He wears his emotions on his sleeve. So if he did have something bad to say about Mexicans, the Mexicans weren't feeling that. Now, of course, when you go into someone else's backyard, their neighborhood, man, you know, you got to carry yourself with professionalism and class. You know, you got to let it be known that, hey, I'm from here, although I am from a certain agenda, a certain ge a geographical area makeup that's not this. You know, I don't come here with ill will and ill intentions. Now, the social media has gotten to people's heads. People think that they can say any old thing on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, or whatever the case may be, and they're feeling the fever for the flavor. It's all good in the hood. They could say it, and then the next day they could hug it out, like Crip Mac YG or Crip Mac and Blueface. But that ain't the case, especially when it comes to Mexicans. Now, I'm not going to sit here just because I'm Mexican and put two on the 10 and put too much on it. But I will say this, man, Mexicanos are not playing that shit. For the most part, 99% of them, if you disrespect them, they're going to feel disrespected and they're going to proceed as such and they're going to handle their business. Now, whether this guy was disrespecting anybody or he just was had too many tattoos and he was in the wrong area, somewhere along the lines, somebody let him have it. Whether it was Mexicans or not, we'll never know. Only he knows. Well, I guess everybody knows now because that's what he said. Now, what I thought was funny in this, this whole little thing was that King Yella, you know, talks about rats and talks about people and disrespects people on the Internet constantly. Um, but at the same time, this was not a good look. Now, this is not a reflection of Chicago. They're drilling out there, man. And there's some real ones that are willing to go to the dirt. And many of the real ones like King Von, Duck and all these guys have died behind, you know, a whole lot of whatever. But at the same time, this guy right here who's proclaimed to be the king of Chicago, you know, has come into California and decided to set up shop and disrespect Mexicans. Now, I hate when people take subliminals. Subliminals are, are something made up, man, in the mind, something that's spoken on. And then that's way a, per, a way a person can double back. People are always double backing when it comes to subliminals. They'll say one thing, let it slide out the side of their mouth. But from the front of their mouth, man, they don't want to lose their buck teeth. So they don't say too much. Right. And this guy, King Yella, definitely took shots at Mexicans and then double backed right and said oh i fucks with mexicans man i'm cool with y'all i'm cool with mexicans did my tattoos i had me a couple mexican bitches whether you had a mexican thought or not that don't matter homeboy when you come into california you got to respect everything around you because it's dangerous and treacherous especially in the san bernardino area i don't know who would sleep on that area the inland empire san bernardino los angeles all the way to bakersfield on back is very dangerous i know myself living down there for three years incarcerated man I had to wiggle real smoothly. I knew what to say and what not to say, who to disrespect and who not to disrespect. And at all points in time, I was ready to get off where I was mad at. Now, this guy, King Yella, I don't take him as a punk or a chump. I don't think he is. I think he'll knuckle up before he buckles up. But at the same time, it was never a good look, man, getting on Instagram and ranting and raving about Mexicans shooting his vehicle. You basically gave the cops all the information and let them know exactly what they needed to know and then pushed on. 
or did he? From what I hear, he's still established out there in California and ain't going nowhere. Now, I don't wish no ill will or bad upon this man. I hope that, hey, he gets everything he wants truly in life. You know, whether he fucked Cardi B or not, man. Hey, anyone who could say they shook that ass cheek, man, did it in a real way. But I will say this. You know, you can't come to California with that disrespect. All that checking in and all that bullshit, man, that's for the birds. That's totally up to you. If you choose to do that, man, hey, I'm not going to think less of you. But at the same time, if you're a man and you rock solo and like a bolo and a side late, sideways leaning cholo, then you definitely got to stand on your two feet, right? When it comes to authorities, don't say shit. Especially in California, the cream will rise to the top and the bullshit floats down to the bottom. Just ask the real ones. Now, when it comes to the Southern Raza out there, Southern California, they're not to be joked with, played with, messed with, or none of that. Everybody knows that, man. And I think King Yellow just got a taste of his own medicine. When you're out there really spitting facts, people will really spit bullets. Hey, my condolences, even though nobody was hit, to his car, because his car was left leaking. Whether Mexicans did it or didn't do it, you know, that's a hey, that's left up for debate. It's totally up to you. Leave a comment. And let me know exactly what's going on. If you truly believe that, well, may noodle style direct fashion it right there in the messages and let me know. Again, I know this happened a while back, man, and I know a lot of people did videos on it. I myself did something on it. I just got to thinking about it and looking at it and thought I'd do a more in-depth look at King Yellow, man. Is he really a true one? Is he really a real one? I believe so he is. And I believe he just slipped up when he blamed the Mexicans for doing this, man, and he got ahead of himself. But sometimes getting your head of yourself can get you cut off at the pass, and you don't need that in your life. With that being said, gente, this is just a quick one and a short one to let you know how I feel, man. Hey, should Mexicans and blacks go to war or fight over this? Hell no, nah, man. Let's keep Cali, Cali, Chicago, Chicago, and show everybody love. But I shot my window out, shot, tried to kill us in Cali. You some bitches.